and welcome to another video by Debbie Loves to Colour. In today's video I'm going to be doing a review on this adult Christmas colouring book what I picked up in one of my local stores. Towards the end of the video after the review I'm just going to be showing you what I'm going to be doing on my next video which I'm going to be filming this weekend so hopefully that's going to be uploaded on Sunday and it's going to be a tutorial and then a following colour along so if you're interested in that definitely keep watching i'm just going to get straight into this review now first of all this book is only available in the uk if you are not in the uk i definitely do apologize but if you do talk to people that are you've got friends that are in the uk and you do like this book definitely i would definitely Ask them if they won't mind picking you one up and posting it because this book is cheap. Now, when I, last year I believe it was, I went into my local B&M store. Now, if you're in UK, you're going to be familiar with it. B&M, it's like a own bargain store. It's like sells homeware, it sells uh, rugs, you know, rugs, lamps, uh, toys, food. It just sells bits of everything and it sells them at pretty decent prices. Now, this is actually in store this year as well because I've seen it in my local store and it's down the Christmas aisle where decorations are. So getting on to the review, the book is done by no particular artist. It's manufactured for the B&M shop. I think it says on the back, oh, it says somewhere. Yeah, it says on the back, manufactured for B&M. So it's actually done for, manufactured for their shop. Now, when I first picked up this book, I seen it, and it was wrapped in cling film. I'm just going to see what you're seeing in view. Uh, yeah, so it was wrapped in cling film, so I couldn't open it. Now, the book itself, before I get going, is only, it was only £2.49. So £2.49, you see it and you think, well, that's pretty cheap. It's a fun Christmas colouring book. I'm going to get home. It might not even be that good. I, th I think, in fact, I were out shopping. Uh, out shopping as in I were in town, actually. Uh, but I've got, like, two local b and I've got one that's further into town where I do all my clothes shopping. And then I've got, like, a little town where I live. So I think it will what in Doncaster this one actually I picked it up and I was with my mum and dad shopping and I seen it and I, I picked it up and I thought oh well it's an adult Christmas colouring book £2.49 it, it's probably not going to be very good but the, the cover looked really nice and I seen it and I went and bought it and we um we went and we went to this like little pub and I opened it and had a look and this is where I'm going to show you because I was really, really gobsmacked. So we've got this nice cover, as you can see. So this is all it looks like. We've got the nice picture at the front, which is what made me buy it. It's got lovely little teddy bears, gingerbread, candy canes and gold foiling saying adult Christmas colouring book. That is all it's called. Now the back of the book and which you could colour in it's just got the liner and it does look kind of looks like um do you know your joanna basford uh feel to it so i, I do believe that you probably could colour it in now when i open this book i'll show you now my copy what i've got i've got another one so you'll have to excuse this because i have got one that's unopened now, when I opened my book, I had my book were like a little, like it was coming off on, on just this one page. And I, I don't, I do believe that it was just the copy that I got. If you've probably get, you know, I have got another one. It, I haven't opened it, but I'm assuming that it's probably going to be all intact. The rest of the book is. But on opening this book, so if you just mind that page. We've got our sleeve cover, uh, you've got like a dust jacket, so I was like, well, yeah, that's not too bad. We've got a dust jacket and like for the book and I thought to myself, it actually seems quite good quality. Now, I think the pages obviously in this book are glued, so 
maybe the pages i don't know i haven't really i've only colored this one page in so you might have to be a bit thingy with the pages but if they do come out mine's come out really clean so you could just end up storing the pages uh but i don't think i'm going to have any more problems with it falling apart i don't know but i opened the book and then we've got this gorgeous play page as you can see we've got this santa and we've got this you know he's got the stock in the toys the gifts then we come to the paper when and the paper is like as you can see card it's like paper but it's obviously not it doesn't feel like um card it's got smooth and it's got like a tooth which is really good for pencils but the paper's really thick it's got a cardy feel to it and on this i've used prismacolor premier pencils and i've used gel pens and the prismacolors as you can see went really went real down really nice obviously it's an unfinished page and then i've used gel pens and i've used different kind of gel pens on the back of this picture as you can see there's absolutely no bleed through there's no indentation of where i've been going over on my pencils which is good so straight off the bat i am really really impressed with the paper the dust jacket how you can color i reckon you could color the outside of the book for £2.49 so then we get into the pictures so we've got this lovely Santa and then we've got these lovely traditional Christmas baubles I'm just going to check to see what you get in in the view so we've got these gorgeous baubles presents around we've got mistletoe then coming to the next page we've got this gorgeous little bird scene we've got robins You've got your mistletoe around. Around, we've even got a little robin with the. I believe it is a robin with the little Santa hat on. Now these pages are double pages, and some of the line art just go into the spine. But uh, but what can what can you ask for for two pound forty nine? I mean, I thought this was going to be really thin paper, and it just. I don't know if you can hear that, but the paper's brilliant in this. Then on the next page, we've got this lovely traditional um, looking snowman and it's got like a little reef garland. Yeah, like a little reef um, and it's just like a, a little birdhouse. And then we've got some birdhouses and again, we've got the, uh, I do believe it's mistletoe. I'm not sure, mistletoe and just Christmassy leaves around the picture. And then coming to this one, we've got like a lovely angel with the wings. So we've got, you, you know, your really traditional Christmas pictures in this book. We've got a lovely reindeer. And then again, we've got this scene with snowflakes. Absolutely beautiful. And then on, on this page, I really love it. We've got your Santa Claus. He looks like he's in his workshop is at the toy shop he's got his little elves working and we've got all these beautiful toys around him on the next page we've got this page absolutely full of toys and little gift parcels again absolutely gorgeous then we come to the next page we've just got your yeah, a lovely reindeer we've got bells and again we've got like a, a lovely reef that you can color in So we've got this page I'm just going to zoom you in I hope I haven't zoomed you in too much just so I can get the picture into the view so this is gorgeous we've we have got a double page we've got the, like a snowy village at the back and we've got snowmen and absolutely gorgeous again they're surrounded by gifts and you could just imagine this scene coloured in so the next page another old-fashioned i would call it traditional christmas page we've got an absolute stunning angel with who's surrounded 
like by I believe are they called pillars we've got Christmas like mistletoe flower kind of you know like leaves and then we've just got some stars we've got two children I believe would you call them cherubs or children I don't know I think these are like little cherubs on the next page and again they're surrounded by toys and then on this one we've got Santa we've got a little boy a little girl and surrounded by toys gifts we've got a Christmassy wallpaper at the back and then this one I absolutely love we've got three cats looking out of the window and the windows like a Christmas village scene we've got the sleigh and the reindeers going by and you can just imagine them in a really cozy house and we've got the gifts and then we've got the page opposite which is well at the side of it which is full of gifts crackers so you can imagine you could do this page really shiny glittery and then we come to snow glow page i absolutely love this one it is a double spread we've got snowman inside the snow globes we've got snowflakes all around it and then we've got little snow globes absolutely adore it and if i'm just gonna keep checking what you're seeing so here we've got your christmas tree it's covered in snow you've got kind of like your little cherub cherubs decorating it you've got your christmas baubles your gifts and then we've got another page full of Christmas baubles, what you can colour in and make really shiny. And then again, another Santa Claus. I absolutely love the Santa Claus in the uh, pictures in this book. We've got the uh, Santa and I believe is decorating. We've got the children. And then the next page, we've got a pile of gifts and some toys. And now this one I really love as well. We've got two little cute teddy teddies and they kind of remind me of the uh, Me To You Bears. Do you know the, is it Me To You Bears? I think you used to get them on birthday cards and stuff like that. They're like the little grey teddy bears. Uh, absolutely gorgeous. They've just got a big pile of gifts with them. And then we've got like a little bird carrying one. And then on the next page, we've got it full of snowflakes, different kinds. So you could also make this page really shiny. And then we've got another absolute beautiful one. We've got a village at the back. So you've got your, your little village covered in snow. And then you've got your little snow, snowmen, some little toys. They've got a reef at the front in the sleigh. An absolute nice one. And then we've got just like a Christmas candle, double page one to do. A load of like leafy patterns around it. And then we've got the little children. Even one there, look, she's got the little children with wings. And I absolutely love this one as well. We've got little gingerbread house and gingerbread man. Uh, and then it's just bordered off with little gingerbread men and little trees and really nice and then we've got on the next page we've got this lovely santa so on this one is your christmas tree one we've got like a more plain christmas tree with the presents and then we've got a similar picture and we've got the gifts but we've got more of a background on that one so again You've got best of both worlds if you didn't want to do a big background. And then we've got a nice owl one. So it's just a howl family, it looks like. And they're just in a tree. Like a Christmas setting. Absolutely beautiful. I love I love colouring out owls. And then on the next page, another snowman scene. We've got wintery trees. And then we've just got this page and it's just got the tree, Christmas trees to colour in. And then this one, we've got your gorgeous can like your winter candles on this side, and then we've got some baubles on this side. I'm trying to get through this review quickly as possible. 
and then this scene is absolutely gorgeous so we've got santa in his sleigh we've got his reindeers and i'm taking this would be a night scene it's literally flying over the village at the back so we've got the village what's on covered in snow in the background and that's a double page so on this one we've got a snow mantle two children and then we've got on the next page we've got a boy and the girl and she's ice skating and i think she's kind of pulling him along or he's pulling her along should i say one at two and then we've got your a double page with just some decorative christmas bells um i i did actually do a little tester with some gel pals, gel pens on here if you can see that and it as you can see no bleed through whatsoever so that's it and then we've just got the last page which you've got your reindeers page and like i said just just jack it so you can take the book out now two pound forty nine b and m now i think that is a really beautiful christmas book and i will definitely be coloring that in this christmas so if you are from the uk and you do see this review i would definitely definitely really recommend this book because you cannot go wrong for the price now i'm wanting to update you guys i'm gonna check you out a little bit zoom you out now if you have seen my last video the uh, i think it was the tutorial one the skin tutorial sorry now i did the skin tutorial on this page which is mother of little dragons by mariola bedeck the picture i've linked underneath the skin tutorial one it's available on estate uk and i believe it was around four pound just under four pound for the single image now what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be doing a color along with this full page and i'm going to be starting it again from scratch because um, i've been playing around with different pictures with the, the air so what i did is I did this one first and I did a rare so this were following on from the tutorial which you didn't see me doing the air and I the air well I like I do like her air but I'm wanting it to be a bit different so this is more like of a muted um kind of gray soft gray look so I did go for another color which I'm also not going to be doing I do like this color so let me just find it this is just my little bits and bobs folder with all my artwork uh, i've got a lot of mariola bedeck artwork and jasmine beckett griffith you know my pdfs downloads what i've been uh, what i've downloaded myself what i want to do but this is the air um i did and i wanted it to look like a really whitey blonde now this one we're done with french grey I were happy with this air um i'm not happy with what i did with the dragon now i did that with sharpies and it didn't take me long at all i were a bit fed up of messing about with the air and i were a bit stressed out and at the time i want in the mood for coloring and this is what happens when i color when i'm not in mood for it i ended up using sharpie markers and i didn't like the outcome of that uh, because yeah i definitely am i definitely am a pencil person i like to blend i like to shade and i like to make my pencils pop off at page i'm happy with the rare love it now this like i said we're done in french greys uh i've been so i've been practicing my like french cool and warm greys of the prismacolor premier pencils now to get this look you have to leave a lot of the hair white and so you've got to leave a lot of spaces because if you don't it's going to end up too much of a dark effect so that's that color but the color what i'm going to be doing and again i uh, should have this picture so i'm going to be starting 
we're gonna, I'm going to be starting on this page brand new. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing my skin again off camera. So if you're wanting to follow this colour along, what I'm going to be doing, please go check out the skin tutorial video that I did. The link underneath in the description box will take you to the uh, Etsy Mariola Bedeck um, printouts. So you can print this page out and then you can do the skin tutorial, what I've put on there. If not, you can do your own skin if you prefer to do it a lot quicker or whatever and you can just do your own skin. So if you do that, I'm hoping to get my video out. I'm hoping to do it on weekend, so I'm hoping to get my new video out on Sunday. So I started another one, but I started it on different paper and this paper's no good. It's eaten away at my pencil. It is the tooth's too gritty. Now the colour of this is what I'm going to be doing, and I'm going to be showing you how to do this air. So the first part of me uh, videos is going to be the tutorial on how to do platinum silver air. Now this has got like a bluish hue to it. It's done with coal like your cool greys and it does make it look like that platinum silver. I don't know if, you're familiar, if you've noticed but a lot of people were recently dyeing their hair like a platinum silver and it had like a slight bluish hue to it and I thought it turned out really nice and I think it'd look even better on lighter paper because obviously this is like a cream paper. So my first video is gonna be how like a tutorial tutorial on how I do a rare. So if you're interested in that, definitely, definitely keep a lookout for that video on Sunday. I have got to finish uh, do a do a new page. What I've just showed you, I've got to do a skin again off camera. And I have actually got to remember what pencils I use. So I'm gonna just do a little quick tester on this page just to make sure i'm getting the right pencils uh what i've used and then i can show you guys how i've done this air and again i've uh, as you can see i've left highlights and this is unfinished but i'm really 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 happy with how this air turned out especially how this paper were taking pencils because it were just eating it up now after that video i'm going to be doing the rest of the color alongs uh with this page so I'm going to be doing the full picture in colour alongs. So I've decided to do them in video. Oh, sorry, just nearly, nearly threw paper off the table then. Uh, I've decided to do them in video format because uh, in my live streams, I think you'd prefer it in video, um, whereas I'm not talking to people and getting interrupted. So definitely they're going to be in video format if you checked out my other live stream what i did which i'm new to live streaming so i'm still getting used to it so i'm just looking for a book i had ah so we've got the soulmates if if you were checking out me uh, other live stream i were doing the soulmates and i was messing about and i wanted a really fun picture and i just wanted to do this like really fun and i did it with um black widow pencils and yeah i've even done black but the background in black black widow pencils so it's not too fancy and i don't know i'm just seeing you get in this all in the screen i'm gonna zoom you out because you're not even in view so yeah i've done the double page i've done this in black widows it's all black widows apart from um bits and bobs which i'll get into the background i kind of did like um just some circles as well and then this page which obviously i'm i've still not finished the picture i've uh, decided to do the sweeter jar i've done the backing soft pastel for that one the background because it were quicker and again, I've just added, added some random circles. Now, you probably not, I don't even know if you're going to see this, but if you look at this page, I'm hoping you can. It's, I've actually used a lot of metallics. 
so I've used Metallics, uh, the JD by Design Metallic Paint for the sweets, and I've used the uh, Tamsi Watercolour Metallics for the sweets at the top. Um, I have used some Glossy Essence um, for the lollipops, and again, I'm not even sure you, I'm going to get this up on camera. I probably won't, but this glossy sense in real life makes it puts like an hard gloss over the over where you're putting it, and it looks 3D. And I've also used that gloss on the pearls, just on the pearls around her neck. I don't even know if it's gonna show. But her pearls look really 3D. It actually looks like, you can even feel it, it just looks so 3D. I would definitely recommend this Glossy Essence. And I actually, uh, I think I bought it, I think watching Colour Me Stress Free. So if you haven't checked out Colour Me Stress Free on YouTube, I, de I definitely recommend to go check out her video. She does like fun, fun colour a lot. Uh, colour alongs but she does a lot of live streams um definitely um definitely check her out which is uh, really good really fun live streams if you like colouring so that's it really for this video um I just wanted to show you what I were doing so I have got to finish this picture off and um, so yeah I've just it's kind of like a fun mixed media page what I've got to finish off I've still got to finish my Harry Potter page off um but the next video like i said i'm going to be doing it on the weekend and it's going to be the tutorial for her hair i will actually i will actually go get the link for this page and put it in the description box below so if you are watching this video and you do want to come along and join me for these color alongs yeah definitely go get the picture and come and join me and i really hope that you enjoy because I absolutely adore Mariola Bedeck. She's got some beautiful heart work um, on the channel. And I've got like a my little folder here. What I've uh, also bought, I, I got this from B&M and it was like one pound odd. So I've put all my combinations, what I want in the front. So I've got my Prismacolor combinations. Then I've got my polychromos and then I've got some um, Black Widow, uh, you know, combinations. And then we've got, and then I've just like all the artwork that I've downloaded. Um, again, this is Mariola Bedeck from a steampunk one. I'm not going to do a full flip through, but you get the gist. I've just started to make a folder of all the artwork. And eventually this folder is just going to be for uh, Mariola Bedeck and then all the Hannah Lynn and the uh, other stuff that I've got in and my coloured pages are going to be in a separate folder because like I said they're only one pound on each. But yeah, but look at, look at her artwork, it's absolutely, it's just stunning. I really do like her artwork. So thank you for watching and again I'm sorry for rambling on a bit but I'm just I just wanted to give you an update. I normally try to do get a video out about once a week uh, so you can have a video from me uh, but I've just been really busy so definitely keep a look out for that other video and I will be getting it done on the weekend and hopefully it will be uploaded on Sunday. So thank you for watching and bye.